All right, welcome to another File Center Receipts training video. In this video, we're going to go over renaming boxes and the subdirectories. And so, really, when it comes down to it, um, when it comes to a box, uh, normally we go in and we set those things up uh, right at the very beginning, but sometimes we may find we are restructuring the organization of how we're doing things and um, we may want to go in and rename it. Now, the the one issue that we have there is that typically we then, once we rename a box, like let's say for instance the box is uh, this testing one two three four, and I want to rename that to be something different. Uh, once I rename it, I still have to go into the Windows folder structure to to go in and rename. Now, so this new update, this is one of the this is the last new feature that we've come out with uh, in this last round of updates. When we come down to it with this, what we're going to be able to do is if we come into the Manage Boxes window and we rename this, let's say for instance that we rename this uh, Testing123, once I click OK, you're going to get a prompt here that says to confirm the renaming of the file folder. And then I just come up here and click on Yes. And that will go ahead and rename it uh, both as the box but also as the file path. So we can see that here, that Testing123 is now there. Now again, if uh, just to repeat that process, if I click on uh, edit, uh, make sure you select the box first, but if you come in now and select edit, and we want to say that this is testing one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll go ahead and click OK. We'll confirm that we want to rename the location of that folder as well. And now you can see here our path is now one, two, three, four, five, six. Now <clears throat> there is one caveat. Currently, right now, the way that this is going to work is it will only work when you are using the default location and it's on the C drive. Um, and so if, if you're using like Microsoft OneDrive like me, I still have to go in and uh, update my file path right now. We, we're, we're continuing to look at how we would do that uh, outside when we're using like a third party solution like Microsoft OneDrive or Dropbox or whatever it might be and how that's going to work. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult, but uh, right now, currently, the way we've got it set up is uh, in the C drive under uh, where our default normally is in documents. Um, that's the, the file location that we'll rename. So hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave comments down below. Please leave us your feedback as well, and we'll look forward to touching base with you uh, in future uh, training videos.